So this is a really exciting time because, well, there's this star, you talked about it, Beetlejuice. And so Beetlejuice, as you said, is a red supergiant. So you've probably all seen Beetlejuice before. It's in the constellation of Orion. It was recently imaged with the Alma telescope. And it's very massive. It's red like the name. So you could point it out with your eye because you'd see it's the red star. And it's much bigger than the sun. So it's about 20 times the mass of the sun. And also it's about a thousand times the radius of the sun. So if we put Betelgeuse, we swapped out Betelgeuse for the earth in the solar system, put it in the, where the sun is, the earth would actually be sitting inside of Betelgeuse. Now, so why are there predictions it might explode? How do you measure that? Right, so, well, what happens in normal stars is that every star has hydrogen in it, and the hydrogen is burning through nuclear fusion into helium. So what happens is that the star wants to collapse from its own gravity, but this energy that's released through the nuclear fusion supports it. Now, when you have something like a red supergiant, after it's run out of its fuel, what can happen is it no longer has the pressure supporting it and it can collapse very quickly. Close to the end of its lifetime, it will change in brightness very much. So Betelgeuse, you know, we've actually known that Betelgeuse is near the end of its lifetime and it's been changing in brightness for very, a very long time. We've been observing it for a while, but Recently, it's been getting much dimmer very rapidly. So, so what it's this sort of could become be less sparkly, so it might then explode. Tell us, will we be able to see it? And is it going to be one of those things where it's a cloudy day and then you just miss it? Or is it going to last a little bit longer than that? Right. So when very massive stars run out of fuel and explode, what happens is it's a huge explosion called a supernova. And these supernova are very, very bright. They're actually so bright that we see them all of the time in very, very distant galaxies. And we can even use those to figure out, you know, how fast these galaxies are moving away from us and how the universe is expanding. But if it happened, so Betelgeuse is w normally one of the brightest stars in the night sky. So it's only 700 light years away from us. So it's very close when you talk about astronomical distances, of course, 700 light years is a very far distance from us, but it's so close that if it actually went supernova, it would be almost as bright as the moon. So if it was a cloudy night, you would be able to see it. You would see the explosion of that dying star in the night sky.